have a first impressions video for you guys today on some new lip products that I purchased. I um, have talked about this before, but I, again, not going to go far into it. I will link the video down below where I talk about it in length. Um, I am no longer supporting Lime Crime on my channel and um, the Velveteens, although I did like the products, I am trying to find very, very good and pretty much better versions of those um, to use and to be able to talk about on this channel. And again, I will link my video kind of expressing my views on it down below and if you guys want to know more about what happened just google lime crime drama basically and you'll you'll find a whole bunch of sources on what has happened um i encourage you to google and find your own information and form your own opinion about it and not necessarily just follow mine or another person's opinion but um i formed my own opinion based off of what i saw had happened and have decided to no longer um support the company. So um, because of that, I have been in search of products that are dupes or are better versions of the Velveteens. Red Velvet Velveteen was basically my favorite lip product of all time for a while and then everything happened and I just, it's disappointing that it happened but I want to find better versions of it so I can talk about them on my channel and you know kind of help you guys find the best products possible regardless of the brand. Recently I posted a first impressions review of the Colored Rain lip product in Vanity Rain which is a red matte velvet liquid lipstick formula and I loved it and I will link that video down below so you guys can see it. Um, I really really liked it and I have nothing bad to say about it and so it definitely is basically the same product as the Velveteen, but I had heard so many good things about the LA Splash, um, what are these called? Smitten Lip Tints, and so I wanted to purchase some of them and try them out and do a first impressions for you guys, so if you guys, um, you know, if you can't get your whole, your, if you can't get a hold of the Colored Rain products and, or you were just curious about the LA Splash ones, then, um, you know, I just figured it would be a useful video. So I live in California, um, and LA Splash is based in California. So I purchased it on May 13th, and I actually received it like two days later. Um, again, it's because I live in California, and they're based in Southern California. Each of these, again, these are the Smitten Lip Tints. These retail for $11.98, so basically $12, which is a great price. Uh, the Velveteens were about $20 a piece, and... Um, so the fact that these are 12, really, really nice. They have a whole range of colors in this lip line product. I believe there's about 15 colors. Uh, don't quote me on that, but there are a lot of colors that range from nudes to reds to really dark colors, and I got some of the really dark colors. Um, and they also have a line of liquid matte lipsticks as well. I think they're called the Lip Couture line and I want to try some of those as well. I haven't tried them yet. I will eventually order from them. But um, yeah, these ones are all just the Smitten Lip Tints. I don't quite know what the difference is between the Smitten Lip Tints and the Lip Couture line. Um, so once I order the Lip Couture line, I will be able to tell you how that is. But yeah, these are again $11.98 a piece. So really affordable. $12 a lip product is great. They came packaged really cute in this little bag. There is a little bit... Oh! That is what they're called. The other version, which I was just talking about, the Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipsticks. That's the other version. What I have today are the lip smitten lip tints. Anyway, came with this little like instructional handout card in it, which you know they also make uh, cosmetic glitter for that are eye safe and diamond dusts that are eye sh are eye safe. So that's really nice. They also stuck in this little guy. I don't really know what it is. It says. Hydra liquid shadow on it, but it is mega glittery and I love glitter. So it comes like this. It has a little Doe foot applicator and it's just silver glitter and it looks like it's just silver like silver glitter in like a sticky base that you can put on your eyes. So that is really really cute. I really like that. 
Going back to the lip products though, I bought five of them. They come packaged in the same plastic boxes. I have already opened these and swatched them just because I wanted to see what they were like when I first bought them. Um, but they come packaged in plastic uh, glossy tubes with a glossy metallic pink lid. On the side it says Smitten Lip Tint Mousse Waterproof. On the bottom it has the name of the color and in terms of how they look compared to the colored rain ones, they look very, very similar. Um, just the pink top and the plastic tube so you can actually see the product inside is very, very useful. So I got five colors. I got one nude, two reds, and then two sort of fun dark colors. The nude color that I got is called Love Good and it is similar in color to MAC's Whirl Lip Liner. I would say it's a little bit less red and a little bit more dusty. It's that sort of 90s lip Kylie Jenner color that's been super super popular in the last like year. The red one that I got is called Inflamed and this is the one that I bought to compare to the Colored Rain and the Lime Crime. The third color that I bought is called Ravenclaw and this is a darker sort of more brown toned vampy red lip color. And then these are my more fun colors. This one is called Sirius and this is a navy blue. There is a slight shimmer in there but it definitely applies like a navy dark blue. And then this one is Bellatrix and this is sort of a dusty dark purple. 100% I bought three of these because they are Harry Potter references, Love Good, Sirius, and Ravenclaw, and oh, I guess four of them, and Bellatrix, like, I love Harry Potter, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, I mean, who doesn't like Harry Potter because it's amazing, but um, definitely was like sold on buying these because of the Harry Potter name as well as the fact that they're really pretty colors. Um, the one that I'm going to test for you guys today is unfortunately not going to be a Harry Potter color, but I will have swatches of all of those um, in the description box in my blog. I will link my blog in the description box down below so you guys can see swatches. Um, I am going to try out the red one called Inflamed again just in comparison to the other two. I'm going to do a full day's like review of it. Right now it is 12.07 and so I will apply this. I'll let you guys know how it feels on the lips and we will go from there. They all come with a doe foot applicator and let me just apply this. There is a little bit of a scent it's not floral, it's definitely like a cosmetic scent. But this definitely applies very smooth, really opaque. So that is what it looks like on. Um, I needed to get a little bit more of the product to cover both of my lips, but it is definitely very, very pigmented um, and it is definitely really like opaque. In the process of me applying it to my lips, it has dried down. So you do want to work a little bit quickly with it because it will dry down rather fast. I am going to do the hand smudge test. I have nothing on my hand. And there is just a little bit of an outline of my lip right there, but it's nothing, it's like not really a transfer really. It's just where I had like a lot of product. Um, so yeah, currently it is um, like dried down on my lips. It doesn't feel dry at all. It definitely feels really comfortable. And we will see how this goes for the rest of the day. Um, it is 12-12. I don't know if you can see that. It took me five minutes to apply it. Um, I guess to apply it to make it look nice. Um, I will show you what it looks like compared to the other two. So this one right here is Inflamed by LA Splash. This next one is going to be the Colored Rain in Vanity Rain. Right there. 
And then on the other side of the LA Splash, I'm gonna put Red Velvet Lime Crime Velveteen. Just based off of looking at my hand, the Lime Crime Velveteen is the lightest shade. Um, Colored Rain's Vanity Rain, which is this one over here, is a little bit darker and a little bit bluer. And then the one that I'm wearing right now, which is the Inflamed by LA Splash, I would say is the darkest and has a little bit more of a blue tone. In terms of formula for the Colored Rain, they are spot on for each other so far. Really comfortable on the lips, really, really opaque, really just a nice lip color. So, I will be checking in with you throughout the day. I will, again, it's like around 12.15, so I am probably going to eat at some point with this lip color on. I am just going to be doing miscellaneous things around the house otherwise. So, yeah, I will be checking in with you guys to let you guys know how it is faring throughout the day. But currently, I really, really like it. It's making my teeth look whiter um, and yeah I think it is spot on for formula for both the color green and the lime crime and the color is a really flattering color in my opinion um, so yeah I will see you guys soon so it is around five o'clock I thought I would show you how the lip product is faring I'm filming on my iPhone so um, it's not my DSLR, but you can still see like detail pretty well. Um, let me zoom you. Oh, I guess you can't zoom in. But anyway, it's really not gone anywhere. No fading or anything. Um, it still feels comfortable, still not super dry, still really opaque and bright, and it's definitely a red lipstick. Let me show you guys how the transfer is after this amount of time. Um, so... That's what's on my hand. Just a little bit of like extra product again. So yeah, I am going to go eat. I haven't eaten yet. I ate breakfast kind of late this morning. So I am going to go eat sort of like an early dinner and then I will check in with you guys after that. So it is 7.14. Um, it's been around seven total hours. I just ate. I had not super greasy food, so um, if I had eaten like more oily food, it would have definitely worn this lip product off a little bit more, but it's definitely faring really well. The parts that have come off are just the parts where my lip meet, like meets the spoon or fork. Um, so like right there and right there, that's just where it's worn down from like eating. It is still super matte. The coverage is still really good across my lips. Um, again, aside from where the places where my mouth met the silverware. But other than that, it feels really nice still. It's not dried out my lips really at all. Like it doesn't feel like I have anything matte on my lips. It definitely is a very comfortable feel. And there's really not been that much feathering around my lips either. There is a little bit on the inner corners of my mouth, which I think, again, was from eating. It's really not feathered at all outside of the um, lower or upper lip line areas, and so it's been looking really good. And I will probably do one last checkup with you guys, probably in a couple of hours. I have just a few things that I need to finish tonight. Um, and then I'm A, done with everything I need to do for college, and then B, I will um, be done with this video. So yeah, looking really, really good. I'm super, super impressed. It's held up really well, held up very similarly, almost exactly the same to the Colored Rain Vanity Rain Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick that I showed you guys um, in a video previously. So it is 9.33, so it's been a good nine hours. Um, I am doing my last check-in just because I have to go to bed early because I have to wake up early tomorrow for my last day of school. I'm very excited. Um, well, it's my last day of school until I start school in the fall to get my early childhood education credits, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I am checking in for the last time for this video, and this is just how the lips look now. It's been the same since I checked in with you after dinner. No sort of fading whatsoever. Um, no, I mean, a tiny bit more bleeding in the inner part of my lip right there. If you want, I can zoom in, but I don't know if you want to see that. Um, yeah, just a tiny bit of bleeding there, but it's, you know, it's nothing too drastic or like annoying. Let me 
zoom you out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I am in love with this product. I love it just as much as the Colored Rain one. I think they work beautifully. They are amazing long-lasting matte lip colors. They don't feel drying on the lips. They're super comfortable to wear. Obviously, they wear all day long and you don't really have to worry about them with minimal bleeding. Um, if you do eat oily foods, you are going to want to keep, you know, a little bit of an eye out for your lip color. So yeah, this gets a great review for me. At least this color does, but I can't see the other colors not performing as well as this one. Um, so yeah, I love these. I totally recommend them. I will link LA Splash's website down below. Again, they retail for $11.98 each, so basically $12, and um, they're amazing lip products. I think in the future I am going to try out their Lip Couture Waterproof Matte Liquid Lipstick line just to see how they fare, um, sort of like these. And then in the future you'll be seeing me wear the other colors that I bought of the Smitten Lip Coutures that I showed you earlier. So yeah, I love these. I can't get enough of these. I think they're amazing and I highly recommend them. Um, I also highly recommend the Colored Rain ones. I think these are amazing as well. Again, I have the red and the pink in this line. Um, so yeah, I will link everything down below um, in terms of Colored Rain and LA Splash. And I'll also link my Colored Rain video down below so you guys can see how that performs. And yeah. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this was helpful to anyone out there. And, um, yeah, I will do more first impression lip product videos if you would like. Um, they're pretty easy for me to do. They're, you know, they're nice videos to do. I kind of enjoy watching other people do them anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys have other products, again, that you would like me to try, go ahead and list them in the comments down below. If you guys are new to my channel, if you could subscribe, that would totally make my day. Um, and welcome, and have a lovely day again, and I will see you guys soon.